All right, so we're going to go ahead and do our bell work uh, reflective um, essay. Um, no, go ahead. Uh -huh. For the synonyms and antonyms, is just for Yeah, synonyms, antonyms are going to be uh, basically what you're looking at is what kind of essay you're, lo you're looking for. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so give me a definition for this essay. Uh, Examines his or her experiences in life. Writer examines. His or her. Her, what was it? Experiences in life. Experiences in life. Okay. Personal essay, yes, day day, stop talking and pay attention to me. You need this. Okay, well, you probably ought to move forward. You are more than welcome to go sit in the middle right here, right smack dab in front of it. Okay? So I need you guys to pay attention here. Writer examines his or her experiences in life. Very, very personal. Yes? Okay, I have an example for you in just a second. Um, what is a synonym to this? Something that this kind of essay is like. Autobiography. A life story, yes? Okay. What is it not? What is the antonym? For synonyms? Yeah. What is contemplative. it? Contemplative? Okay. To contemplate means to think about. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have a, um, an a, a antonym? Well, if an autobiography is a synonym, a biography would be the opposite, right? This is about someone else's life and what we think about them, right? Okay. And what would you say would be a, uh, a good drawing? How about this? How about we do this? Let's say we have a table. We have a kid with drawing with a pencil. And he's got his hand on the pencil, and then you have paper in front of him, and he's looking down. Okay, and maybe we'll do a baseball cap on this kid's head, right? Yeah. Okay, and then what he's thinking, I remember... the influence... in my life. Here's the story. Does that work? Reflective essay, yes? Okay, so um, a really great example of a reflective essay you're looking at would be an essay that I would have written about a time when an individual made the biggest impact in my life. And I'm going to tell you because this happened just this weekend. Are you ready? A really dear friend of mine passed away on Saturday morning. He'd been fighting colon cancer. Um, I didn't realize that he had been fighting colon cancer, but he had. And I guess I just did, wasn't paying any attention to it. And he, uh, he impacted my adult life in a far greater, um, he had a far greater impact on my adult life than probably any other individual other than my husband. And the impact he had on me was because I came from Colorado. Okay, you guys know that, yes? I lived in Denver where you're looking at 5 million people, just in Denver alone. 
Uh, you can go anywhere in the city and you can get to any store just down the street. You can go see a movie at a corner at a corner cinema. You can go shopping in a mall, whatever. Anyway, um, so I came here to Oklahoma when Aaron was two months old, which means you guys were babies then too. And I'm plopped right down in the middle of Burns Flat. If you've ever been out to Burns Flat, there's nothing outside of Burns Flat but Burns Flat itself. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Talk about a major depression that set in for me. Major. I was missing my parents, who all lived in Colorado. I was missing my siblings. I was missing everybody. Well, this man that passed away, he was my bishop. A few, just within a year after we moved there, he became our bishop of our ward and of my church. And he, um, I was getting ready the next summer after we had moved here to go back home to go and visit my family. And I was really, 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 really struggling internally. I was just so depressed. My husband was working all the time. I was with the kids. I didn't really have a path. I hadn't started college yet. I was just stuck. And I was, like I said, I was missing my family. And so um, I was getting ready to go on a trip while well, I was sitting in church the Sunday before my trip. And he was sitting up on the stand. And I'm sitting out in the pew, okay? And, and I'm sitting there, and he looks at me, and he just watches me. And I didn't tell anybody how I was feeling. And he called me into his office after our, our main family meeting, which we call sacrament meeting. He calls me into his office, and he looks at me, and he says, are you returning from your trip? Are you going to come back? I looked at him, and I was very, very surprised because... The thoughts that were going on in my head at the time was, I don't know if I can come back. I don't know if I can handle being without my family. I don't know if I can deal with the life that I have at this moment in time. And this man stopped me in my tracks and asked me, point blank, am I returning from my trip? And it was just a moment in time where suddenly I realized that I had had these thoughts and that I needed help. And he was who was put in my place to help me so that I could shift my thoughts and my ideas about what, um, what I thought about my life. Little did I know that that trip was going to be the worst trip of my life. My dad and I argued, my mother and I argued, um, I didn't really get along with any of my family and my children when we came home they cheered. They were so excited to be home and see their dad. I was never happier to come back into Oklahoma than at that moment when I realized, and that was the moment I realized that that was my home. Shortly after I started college, I started, um, I started really getting involved in community and I started getting involved with my children's education. And then I really got into my own education and my life just went skyrocket from there much better. Now, have we had our trials? Absolutely. But it was at that moment in time when he called me in his office that I realized I was at a crossroads. And whenever I talk in a reflective essay, I wouldn't necessarily talk about this man in his life, but I would talk about this man and his effect that he had on my life. And the crossroads when I realized Oklahoma was going to be my home that this is where I was going to set my roots. Does that make sense to you? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah? Okay. So that's what a reflective essay would do. And the topic that I would really think about writing with that kind of reflective essay would be, tell me about a crossroads in your life when you had to make important decisions. Reflect back about a time and share the story with me. Okay? That's what a reflective essay does. Does that make sense? We did. We did some reflective essays last year. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We really did. All right. So, does there are any questions about the bell work and what it is? All right. I need to go ahead and pause this, stop this, upload it to YouTube.